Hey everyone, this is Ravi and you are welcome to another RPA tutorial video. In this particular tutorial video, we are going to talk about UI path. So I'm going to explain you about, you know, certain things about UI path and why UI path is very popular. What is UI path? So let's, let's move to next page and we'll see the today's agenda. So basically today I'm going to talk about, you know, this uh, mention agenda, like what is UI path, how to download and start with UI path, components of UI path and components of UI path studio. All right, so as you may aware, you know, in current market, the RPA is very popular and most of the companies targeting to automate their task, which is, you know, rule-based, repetitive and digital data. So in market, like, you know, we have so many tools available uh, to perform RPA related activities like, you know, automation anywhere, UI path, blue prism, work fusion etc etc so like i said ui path is a rpa tool which is you know based for automating you know rule based and repetitive tasks it is having a uh, different types of features and capabilities which help you to you know automate uh, things uh, like you know if you are working with sap or if you are working with a desktop base applications or web-based applications or citrix automation so ui path is having you know capability to handle this type of uh, uh, things which is working in this this platforms whatever i said okay so now i'm going to tell you how to download and start working with the ui path in this uh, you know video description i will put uh, the download link so you can go ahead and download uh, the ui path uh, you know community edition which is basically a free version provided by the ui path for you know learning purpose okay so let's follow so what you have to do you have to go to google there you have to type you know you can type like ui path the free trial or community edition so once you type there it will open this page so what you have to do you have to click on this start trial okay once you click on start trial it will open this page okay you can see here so here you can see like ui path enterprise rpa platform and another is ui path community edition so you can see here this enterprise RPA platform is basically, you know, uh, this particular license is provided by UI Path to, you know, work with like, you know, a large companies or launch your RPA projects. However, if you look into the community edition, which is mentioned here, this is like, you know, basically they are providing for free. So user or developer or other, you know, legal entities can go ahead and download this software or they can start exploring that uh, this UI part tool. They can start building their own bots. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to click on Get Community Edition. So once you click here, you will see this page. Okay, and here, what you have to do, you have to fill the required information like your first name, last name, email address, you know, field of expertise, job label, these things. If you feel right so what it will happen it will send you a you know the ui path studio download link so basically once you fill and submit this form so ui path will trigger an email to your mailbox you know saying this is the path of downloading your ui path studio so from there you can go ahead and download in case if you are facing any you know problem in downloading ui path studio you can go ahead and post in a comment section. I would be happy to share the setup file. So let me uh, go to next point, which we are going to discuss now is components of UI path. So let me open the UI path first. Okay. So let me type here UI path. You can see here UI path studio. So once I click, it will open a UI path studio. All right, so you can see here UI path studio got open. So this is the very basic page. So here you can see the project details like, you know, open team tools, settings, etc, etc, right? 
So in my right hand side, you can see the recent activities which I did using the CY Path Studio. So guys, currently I'm not going into the more details. What is process library or transactional process? These things uh, in upcoming videos, I will explain you about these things. Okay, so now let me start with the blank process so I can explain you about, uh, you know, uh, other part of the UI path. So let me click on process. So what it will do, it will ask you for the, uh, you know, name of the process. So I'm putting like, you know, demo underscore UI path. Then I'm clicking on click. So what it will do, it will uh, open the UI path uh, studio developer page okay so now let me talk about the components of UI path as you may aware UI path is having three components first is UI path studio which I have opened in front of you second is UI path robot and the third one is the UI path orchestrator okay so what is UI path studio so UI path studio is an advanced tool which help you to design your automate process in a visual manner using drag and drop functionality okay so basically UI path studio will help you to build your you know processes using the drop and drag functionalities so no need to write any code here in the CY path studio you have to choose your required command okay from the you know activity uh, page and you have to drag into the body I will show you how to uh, you know select command and how to drag into the body now let me move to next component which is ui path robot so basically ui path ro robot help us on you know executing processes which we are developing using the ui path studio just like human do so so once your process is ready or let's say if you have developed any task using ui path studio so now your robot will help you to you know uh, process uh, those uh, bot Okay, now moving to the uh, last component, which is UI path orchestrator. So UI path orchestrator is very strong, you know, web-based application, which is provided by the UI path that enables you to deploy, schedule, monitor, and manage your robots and the task. Okay, so these are the components of the UI path. Now let me uh, go to the components of the UI path studio. So UI path studio is open in front of you. You can see here in, in top, like we have the options like new, save, save as template, run, manage packages, recording, screen scrapping, data scrapping, user event. So many things is there. So basically this is the ribbon part. So I'm going to tell you about uh, this ribbon part as well as the activities, how to download the packages for it. So what is recorder, what is screen scrapping. So we are going to talk about this part. As I mentioned, like you know, UI Path Studio is an advanced tool which help you to design or build your processes, okay, using drag and drop functionalities, right? So let me, you know, this is the uh, UI Path uh, Studio activities panel. So basically, here you can see here all the commands are available. So let me show you one small example. Let's say I want to work with Outlook. So what I have to do, I have to type uh, Outlook. So you can see here the command which is related with outlook is here now you can see here if you want to send a mail so what you have to do you have to select that command and you have to leave in a, this a body part right so you can see here like this this is asking for some information like to subject body etc etc so this command if you feel the details it will help you to complete your required action now you can see here in my right hand side. So basically this right hand side is a property panel. So there you can see the different properties are available for this particular command. So one note down one thing like, you know, property will always change. It will vary from commands to command. So now you can see here for this send email. So we have this many uh, properties available like attachment, common email body forward, etc., etc. So if you want to add anything from here, what you have to do, you have to select and you can uh, put the required information there, right? Okay, so now let me close this. Now coming back to this ribbon part. So you can see here if you want to 
uh, start a new project what you have to do you have to click on new which will open a new uh, you know a ui path a task there you can start building your projects save will help you to save your existing task save as a template run let's say if you want to run any task what you have to do you have to click on run so it will execute your task now coming back to most important part is manage packages so guys you may aware ui path you know work uh, as a package basis like in case if you want to work with a pdf so you have to download a package related with the pdf or if you want to work with the excel so you have to download the packages so basically they have categorized the activities for each and every uh, you know uh, requirement so if you want to work with outlook if you want to work with web based application so you have to you have to download the packages right let's say you want to uh, download a package so what you have to do if you if you click here so it will open this window manage packages so you can see here in left hand side we have so many options available like package dependencies all packages local official communities and etc etc so let's say if you if you're looking for some packages which is available here let's say i want to work with a pdf so what i have to do i have to type the pdf so you can see here so here like you know the different uh, options uh, are uh, showing after typing the pdf in the search box so let's say if you want to download this pdf related activities or if you want to start working with pdf related activities so what you have to do you have to click here so what it will do it will do the installation of the package so it will take you know some time once you click on save it will take and it will ask for your permission to accept it okay once you click here so it can you know it can add that particular package in your ui path activities so now if i type here pdf so you can see here pdf related activities Right, read PDF, read with the OCR. All right. Now coming back to next uh, part, which is you know recording. So UI path is basically providing uh, you know a total five types of recording. First one is basic. Second one is desktop. Third is web, image, and the native. So basically, basic and the desktop recorders are working similar. However, web recorder is only uh, working with the web based applications and let's say if you want to automate anything related with the image then you can go ahead and start recording for the image and the last one is the citrix automation as you may aware ui path is a very strong tool and it is having you know good citrix automation capabilities so if you want to work with the citrix applications so you can go ahead and use the citrix recorder right now coming back to screen scrapping and the data scrapping so basically scrapping is like you know when you are you are trying to extract something from uh, from like let's say desktop based application or web based application so that we call as a scrapping so screen scrapping is basically uh, you know provided by uh, ui path to uh, you know uh, scrap data from the desktop based applications different types of desktop based applications however you know data scrapping or the web scrapping is uh, only uh, good for uh, you know interacting with the web based applications now coming back to user event so basically user event what it will do if you click here you can see here so we have like you know five types of user event which is provided by the ui path like on click event on key press elements on a click image so this this what it will do let's say if i uh, select this uh like click on element so what it will do it will open right so now you can see here it is it is you can see here like it is selecting that position and everything so once you click so it will go to ui path studio and you can see here i clicked on what is ui path so it captured the uh, click for that particular applications all right so this is all about the ribbon part okay so so this is all from today's uh, session okay so i just wanted to cover about a very basic of the ui path tool and in upcoming session what i am going to do i am going to explain about the different types of transactions available in ui path and i will explain you about what is ui explorer and selector 
how to you know remove variables create variables export excel publish and deploy your bots another thing guys i forgot to explain you about this uh, bottom part so you can see here like variable arguments and import so in case if you want to create any variable so you can click here and you can go ahead and put the variable name followed by the variable type information scope or any value if you want to pass and from here you can pass any arguments or you can import any uh, you know value by using this uh, bottom part so guys i hope you uh, uh, like this video is helpful for you to understand the basic overview of ui path so in upcoming videos i am going to explain you about more and more about ui paths and i am uh, going to create some uh, projects complete projects using uh, ui path uh, studio so guys i hope uh, you have uh, many questions okay so you can go ahead and post in a comment section if you need any uh, you know assistant from my end or if you have any special request to create video kindly go ahead and post in a comment section and one more request guys don't forget to subscribe my channel if you subscribe my channel once i upload any new videos if you will get the notification uh, from uh, my channel so you can go ahead and learn uh, the rpa related uh, activities so once again guys thank you so much for your time thank you very much